Okay, this is my third attempt to <coughs> root the HTC Incredible. I just downloaded these two files right here, and I just put them on the um, SD card. It says now power out the phone. I'm just gonna take the battery out because it's, it's faster. Now press and hold the volume down and power button. Wait for it to uh, find the image file or zip file. Anyway. Do you want to start update? Hit yes. Update in progress. Hit reboot. Um, the PB31IMG file is actually Clockwork Mod. I downloaded it from that website. You, you can also get it from that site. I just figured I'd follow their instructions. I've tried to use Unrevoked and um, Revolutionary.io, but I found out that it's not on on the the re Revolutionary uh, website. And also, it's unsupported by the Unrevoked because the firmware is too uh, new. So, wait for that to power on. See, I just had to download the that, and then if you left click, click rename. I just clicked there, and I deleted all all that. And then the same for the super user does it. Which I don't think I saved on here. I think I just saved it on um, the SD card. Okay, this is powering back on. Kind of. It's, so it's kind of slow powering on. Some um, location warning. Not really sure about that. Preparing and storage. Wait for it to kind of settle a minute. Now plug back into the computer. Wait for this to pop up. Select disk drive and then done. Um. I don't, I don't know what that is. Just X out of that if that ever pops up. Wait for my computer to recognize it. Open the view files. Scroll down to this PV31 and delete it. Because you don't want it to scan every time. That's the internal storage. This is the external storage. They show up as different. Um, removable disk. Once you delete that, you can exit out of that. Now you're going to power down your phone again. Now I just pulled out the battery. It makes it kind of easier because it's faster than just trying to power it up. Hold volume down and power. It's going to enter H boot. See, mine's been as soft. That's why I just did this because mine's been previously rooted. Go down to re recovery. And this is Clockwork Mod. Go to install zip. Use a trackpad. Go to choose zip. Go all the way down to, I ah, should just went that way, super user 3.0.7. Go to ES mounting system, it's installing. I don't know if you can see this or not. 
install from SD card complete, you can hit back button, then click reboot now. And wait for that to turn back on. And that's all you have to do if you've been previously, I've previously used uh, this uh, unrevoked method. See so, yeah, how I failed to get root with your firmware too new. So I couldn't um, use that. Just exit out of that. And device manager, make sure your device shows up as like an ADB interface. This is if, if you took the the update for Gingerbread 2.3, coming from 2.2, um, and like you, you were S off on 2.2, you can do this. Um, I, I downgraded and went to a 2.2 and then rooted S, S off. If um, on 2.2 you just have to run the unrevoked uh, software and make sure you have on well, the drivers is installed and it's pretty straightforward you don't really have to do anything it does everything for you so I'm not really gonna make a video on that you just have to go to the website underbroke.com download it I was also looking at a list of ROMs for it. wait for this to pop up that way I can show you that I have super user then I'm going to show you how to install a ROM next. Um, it's probably going to be AOKP because I like that ROM. It works. Waiting for that to settle. Hmm. I wonder what everything if everything works on that. Never worn. Go to app tray. Should see super user yeah, over here. Um, one way to make sure that you're rooted: go to menu, preferences, go to check for updates. Click update. Checking for BusyBox. It's not found, but you can, you know, you can get BusyBox installer off the market, and you you can install it. And fail to gain root access. They're, oh, no, ah, they made hit. <laughs> okay, but it's gonna fail because I accidentally hit deny. Go back. <laughs> Delete that from the. There. Now go back. Update. Allow. I'm used to Android 4.0 where they're opposite. Allows on the side. Just to make sure it's worked, you can even do it again. And there you go. That's super user. I'm going to show you how to install a ROM next if you don't know how.